Tonight, dozens of families in the Green Bay area are staying somewhere other than their homes, but not by their choice. An underground garage fire this morning at an apartment building has forced about 40 families, 40 people rather, out of their homes. Fox 11's Bill Miston has more. As thick black smoke billowed up out of the underground parking garage, it provided a stark contrast to the delicate white snowflakes falling down. The very corner there. Nicolay apartment resident Amanda Delvo says she was startled awake to the sound of fire alarms shortly after 8 Thursday morning. I was scared because this is my first apartment, so I really didn't know what to do. The 24-year-old has lived in her apartment right above the entrance to the garage for only three months. I started packing a bag and that's when my apartment started filling with smoke. So I grabbed one of my cats, couldn't find the other one, so the other one is still inside. Green Bay Metro fire officials say the call came in for reports of a car fire at the Hoot Street Complex. All three buildings in the complex were evacuated as firefighters fought to keep the fire from spreading. The task made more difficult in the dark, smoke-filled conditions. It took firefighters nearly two hours to put out the fire. Now investigators will be combing through what's left of the rubble inside to find out what exactly caused the fire. Figure out if in fact it was a vehicle on fire that caused it and how it started. Green Bay Metro Fire Lieutenant Nick Craig says residents are able to return to two of the three buildings. About 40 people won't be able to get into the third building for at least several days. It does to be appear, appear intact and even looking in the windows there is no visible smoke at all. Residents that needed help were shuttled by bus to nearby Preble High School for assistance from the Red Cross. As for Delvo, I am okay. <laughs> especially since she found Lola, her missing cat. In Green Bay, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. And while covering this fire this morning, our crews captured images of the firefighters in action. You can find those in the photo gallery section on the homepage of our website at fox11online.com.